Call of Duty has apologized for Call of Duty, and it means nothing. What's happening, everybody? It's your boy Blank Online here today to chat to you more about some Call of Duty. Everyone is well aware about the state of Call of Duty at the moment. I made a video talking about it, about how it's just completely broken. It's it it it's dumpster fire right now. Call of Duty is posting apology on on Twitter, apologizing for the state that the game is in. I'm going to show you guys what that statement is, and I'm going to talk about it in just a second. Okay. I have it up on my screen and I've put it up on your screens as well. So this is what they've said. We wanted to take a minute to talk about fixing the game. We hear you and we feel your frustrations. Our teams are hard at work at addressing the issues that are experienced across Vanguard, Warzone and Modern Warfare. Updates are being developed as quickly as possible and we want everyone to have a seamless experience no matter what game, game mode or platform you play on. Your feedback is a critical part of our development process to make our games the best that they can be. Stay posted for real-time updates and for the most frequent ones, make sure you're following Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Infinity Ward, and Triarch. They go on to list all of the changes. So latest implemented changes and known issues for Warzone, uh, Vanguard as well. Um, you can look at it. I'm putting it on your screens right now. Uh, but as I said, it really means nothing because a lot of the things that they're known issues that are being fixed on there are way more known issues that need to be fixed on um and and they're really doing nothing as well as that in the comments of of in the sort of replies everyone's like oh my god more communication please oh my god this is so good thank you so much for doing this this is it's empty promises it's empty words this means absolutely nothing they are doing damage control call of duty apologizing for call of duty is purely because they it's damage control they're, they're, they're trying to put a, a band-aid over a fucking gash, a, a, a big open wound. They're trying to put a little band-aid on top of it. That's what they're trying to do. And it means absolutely nothing because with Warzone or Warzone slash Vanguard season 1.5, they fixed the fire. They didn't fix the fire. It's still there. They fixed the weapon challenges tracking. They didn't do that. You still cannot unlock Atomic Camo and it's been three months since the game released. Call of Duty Vanguard has sold worse than NBA 2K22 in America and worse than FIFA 22 in Europe. A Call of Duty title selling worse than sports video games that released, what, three months, oh sorry, two months prior to the release of Vanguard? Something's going on there. They're doing damage control. Rumors have come out today saying that Modern Warfare 2, the new title that's coming out this year, will be releasing in October due to low Vanguard sales. So what does that tell you? What does it tell you that they're planning to release the new game early because Vanguard sales are low, but yet they are apologizing for the fact that they released Vanguard in a broken state? They are rushing the current game to get released early because their current game is so broken so what will happen to the new game it will be as broken if not even more broken than what vanguard is these people are not learning from their mistakes and it's clear and obvious to see as i said it's an empty promise these developers this publishing company does not care about the product because if they did care they would put it in the cooker for a little while longer in order for it to be fucking cooked because that's what you do when you cook things, you cook it. Call of Duty has become out undercooked for years now, ever since Modern Warfare 2019. Modern Warfare 2019, Black Ops Cold War, and now we have here with Vanguard, and it's still broken and probably will continue to be broken until just before the release of Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 or fucking whatever, I don't care. Call of Duty's in a broken state. Call of Duty apologized for it being in a broken state, but will anything be done about it? Probably not. Probably not. You'd probably see the invisible skins glitch fixed in in Warzone. We'll, we'll probably get atomic camo being allowed to be unlocked in season four. Like it's it's nothing, man. Like it's absolutely nothing. We've had more double XP weekends than we've had normal weekends in Vanguard. So what does that tell you? 
What does that tell you about not only the progression parts of, of Vanguard and how long it takes to do so? Because keep in mind, every single weapon in Vanguard has to be unlocked to like level 70 in order for you to do the weapon challenges. And not only that, some of the weapon challenges have you use different attachments for those weapons that aren't unlocked until later on in the weapon cycle. So you can't even finish that weapon camo category until you reach up to level 70 for that gun, which is ridiculous. Call of Duty Vanguard is a broken pile of garbage and it's not being fixed anytime soon as soon as they fix some of the problems more problems will arise there for every one thing they fix there are five things that break within the game mvp screen are, is still in vanguard so if they're listening to the community and they're listening to what we want fixed or altered they'd either remove the mvp screen or they'd add a button to where we can just skip it they say they fixed pack a burst pack a burst is still very prevalent as soon as you launch into a game of vanguard bang pack a burst but they fixed pack a burst as soon as they released the season 1.5 update there was a dev error crash on xbox consoles but yet they're saying they want to make the game seamless to play on every platform but yet xbox as soon as the brand new update comes out can't even play the game they didn't even address the fact that modern warfare 2019 is unplayable and yet they are still uh, they are still advertising it and selling it at full price and yet the game is unplayable on console they didn't even address that. So for all the people in the comment section of that tweet saying, thank you for the communication. Thank you so much for doing this. You should do more of this. This is great. Let's get real. This is a band-aid over an open wound. This is an empty promise. These are, these are words that will never come into fruition. So we should not be praising these people. We should be praising these people if they release a complete game. We should be praising people, these people if they release a game that doesn't need millions of updates or has every uh, has five bugs for every one working mechanic within the game. We should not be praising these people whatsoever. These people don't deserve it. These people do not deserve our praise. These people do not deserve our, our congratulations for, for fixing their game. Hell no. Nah. Fuck that. These people need to, need to let it be known that what they're doing and what they've been doing is not acceptable. Charging people $60 for this garbage is ridiculous. And you have people arguing that, oh, $60 is actually a relatively good price for a game because if you think about it and you think if you put 100 hours into a game, that's a lot of entertainment for $60. Fuck that, bro. Why would anyone pay $60 for Call of Duty Vanguard? Why would anyone with the mental capacity of a normal functioning human being put 100 hours into this game? If you're not getting paid to do it, if this is your leisure time, if you buy one or two games a year and one of those games is Call of Duty and that game, that Call of Duty game is broken to the point where it's unplayable and you've just wasted $60 when you could have spent that on something else, then there's a problem. Not everyone has 150 hours to put into Call of Duty and if you're justifying the fact that this game is worth what it is worth because you can put that amount of time into it, then you're just a fucking idiot. But anyways, that's enough for me. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, comment down below. What do you think about the state of Call of Duty? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. Click subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss out on my next video. I'll see you guys next time. I'm too busy flexing no bitch You know me, I do what I please Anything my Jesus